Hey, hi, and hello, and welcome to episode 56 of the Digimon World 2 Let's Play series. In the last episode, we were pretty much taking on Patch Domain here with our new Digimon that we have acquired from DNA Digivolving, uh, Dead End straight away. But yeah, we just want to try and finish off Patch Domain here because we know we've got the task of finding the three Chaos Generals. Skull Greymon right there, so we might avoid him. Yep. Don't really want to get into a battle this early into the episode. Hopefully we can find a... Yep, so we got the... I guess we don't have to do one battle. Okay, so we'll do it now. Well, we got the portal just there. So we know we've got to find the three Chaos Generals that Gigumon has told us where to go. And in order to find the three Chaos... Like, we want to find the three Chaos Generals because once we find them... Uh, Phoenix Mon is looking a bit sad. Uh, don't really have anything. Let's just do a black hole just to show you guys what it looks like. Um, and we can do V Wink and Blade on. Uh, let's go Mega Dramon. Tidal Wave, of course. And then we'll do a Scissor Claw on Mega Dramon. So we want to find Crimson, who's meeting up with the Chaos Lord. In order to find the Chaos Lord, we need to find the three Chaos Generals. Okay, so that's, that was what the Z Cannon Black Hole is. So it's pretty much all those little missiles that we've been finding, like Rust Storm, Fire Blast, um, Blizzard, Black Hole. They're pretty much just extra attacks that we can do on our enemies just without costing any MP. But it just, if anything, it just costs us uh, space in our, our, um, in our storage of our DigiBeetle. What do you, just our items. So, so, I wonder if, I wonder if they, if it's dependent on if we've used Scissor Claw, like a defense down sort of move. But, it is what it is. I think we've done some decent damage here first up. So, hopefully, 20 damage. No, yeah, okay. No, oh, there, succeed. So, we can do probably a V Wing Blade on Skullgrame on this time. We'll do another Tidal Wave. And then a scissor claw on Skull Greymon should take him, should take out hopefully Skull Greymon. Might be wishful thinking, only because it'd have the added bonus of having the black hole that we use. But no, no, we might we might get lucky. Sixty-four damage. I was always kind of hoping that scissor claw would hit first. I think this should help out with the tidal, like, so that on top of tidal wave should be good. Might make it do about 45 damage. Thirty-one. Yeah, okay. No. Might have to do a third attack. But no, so hopefully Kawagamon gets up a few levels before we hit the boss. Um, we'll, you'll have to guard. And then we can do Void to attack while resting. Uh, let's just do Tentacle Claw. Take out Tusk them on completely. Yeah. I know I haven't been really strategic in my battling in this battle. Just my turn placement hasn't been ideal. Let's 
see how this goes. 42 damage. I'm really hoping this will do it now. <laughs> but I don't think it will. No. Okay. So what I am going to do is I'll probably just do a, t a tidal wave, it's just attack all three. His attack miss. Okay, that's good. But we'll still have slain. Oh no. Okay. So you can guard again. You can use tidal wave. And you can guard. I probably should have just attacked because I know Kalagamon's going to level up. But. But that's pretty much why I'm leaning away from just showing the general battles in between domains. Because, as it is, this has taken probably close to about a five minutes. But, nonetheless, we get the win. Has anyone leveled up? Yes, we got one person leveling up. But... And we get a few attacks here, so let's go keep them all. Go Necro, Magic, I uh, want... I'm pretty happy with... Uh, Crimson Claw can always go at the bottom. Okay. Because I do like to prioritise my moves in terms of how would I use them. The only reason why I've kept all those is dependent on what I will do. Like if I want to poison someone or if I want to confuse them. Oh, I was not expecting that. So now if I go, I'm going to face one no matter what. Okay, I'm going to skip this. Okay, so I finished those two battles because I ended up having to do the second one because I made a mistake. Okay, oh, that's a dead end. Let's get the big screen up. What have we got along here? The guaranteed battle there. So let's just see what the other... Because we know there'll be another area. Yeah, okay. Let's shoot along this way. And what I might even do, because I'd like the experience. Where will this take us? I got a feeling it will take us down below. Yeah. And I might be able to be do a sneaky here. We do two turns. I'll still have to do that battle at the top. So I'll be right back. I'm just going to do these battles because I want the experience because I think if I go to Digimon, Digibeetle, we've got Koagamon who's constantly leveling up. He's at 15 at the moment. Scorpiomon, he'll go up once I finish these battles. Even Phoenix... No, let's do that on camera because I'll, I want to see Phoenix Mons move. So let's just do one more of these. Let's do this battle. And then once I do this battle, then I'll skip through all the other battles. And then it probably will be... Oh, okay, this is a different lineup. Let's just take out Giga Dramon. We'll do the tidal wave like we always do. And we'll do a scissor claw on Skull Greymon. This Phoenix one's just too fast. There's no way Koagamon's gonna hit him before. So might as well use that. Then I'll use Phoenix Mon onto her. 
Skullgram on next turn. But no, it doesn't help when he attack when his attack misses. Fire blast. Yep. Not bad damage, but... Okay, let's see... Let's see what the damage was. Pretty small. So if we do now a V-Wing Blade on Skull Greymon, I'll do a Tidal Wave and a Scissor Claw. On Giga Drummon. And then the next turn, what I can do, yeah, I'm glad I didn't do anything on the Tyrannomon yet. Because then what I can do is, I can do the V Wing Blade now on Giga Drummon. And then what I'll do is, I'll do, next turn, I'll do a Scissor Claw on the Tyrannomon. That should take out both Gigadramon and Skullgramon next turn. That's if I do a Tentacle Claw and a V-Wing Blade. That's good that his attack missed. And I, I don't mind if they keep targeting Koagamon. So V-Wing Blade on Gigadramon. Tentacle Claw on Skull Greymon, and then just to make sure, I'll do a Fire Blast actually, because then that way I'm both I'm hitting both Giga Drummond and Skull Greymon if the if the attacks aren't enough. But 90 damage, you'd think they would be. Because I got a feeling. Scorpio Mon will only hit say about 35, 40. Even with a defense down. Oh, 55, but yeah, at least I've got to take them both down. And then what I can do now is I'll do B Wing Blade, Tentacle Claw. And a scissor claw because everyone's level everyone should level up after this battle. And I get and once Phoenix Mon levels up, I'll get to see his ultimate move. Is this going to be enough? Yeah, sweet. Everyone levels up. Crimson Flame. Full HP Revival. Okay, so I've got a feeling that's going to be an assist. And he gets HP recovery. So I can either fully recover one single person or I can give everyone 150 damage, 150 health. So let's just do one of these. Because how are we looking in terms of... He still has plenty to give. So let's just shoot on up here. We should be able to avoid the Skull Greymon battle now. There we are. And I've got a feeling the last one, hopefully it's just the one battle. 
Well, let's avoid that skull, Greymon. We'll run away from this battle. Considering that it's been 15 minutes and I only, I've only got... Well, I've got a couple of levels to show for it. But I haven't really progressed in Patch Domain that much. Okay. And now we should be able to go either... Oh, watch. I bet you it'll be in the bottom one. No, okay. There we go. Well, we don't have an arm strong enough for that bomb. So, we're going to go towards the yellows. Okay, we did. And just going to run away from this battle. Hopefully we don't need to go too, through too many more floors. Okay, that's sweet. Okay, so let's just go straight into the floor portal. Okay, we got a Phantom on there. We have Warren, Munzimon, and X Tyranimon. Um. Oh, he doesn't want to fight us. Okay. Um, what have we got over here? We're going to have a fair bit of walking to do. What have we got? Skull Greymon, Giga Greymon, Animal, we've seen that battle. I would do the Phantom one, but... No, let's just see what else we, what else we can get around. Oh, yeah, I should have... What colour is that? Yeah, the red one. Yeah, I'm not going to have anything to fit that. Let's see, there's got to be something in the corner here. And it's the floor portal. Uh, let's at least do one more battle. Uh, we'll send that. Now uh, let's just go through the portal. <laughs> I really want to finish Patch Domain. I don't know if I'll do it this episode. Don't think it's gonna have. I think it's gonna have more than twelve floors. How we help? What? Uh, how we help? Was we all level up last battle? That's all right. So uh, darkness specialty though. Yeah. Okay. Let's just do this battle and go from there because we've got our new moves as well. So. Now, I think we should get rid of that so 4 HP revival. Let's uh, get rid of x on first. And we can also do a scissor core on. Well, Phantom One isn't really a danger until we're at low health. So. We'll see how we go. 48 damage. Let's see what Scissor Claw does to the Wing Blade next turn. And then Tidal Wave? Yes, sweet. But I think this battle will give us a decent amount of experience. Because I'm thinking most Digimon that run away from you, they either are a hard battle or they actually give you decent experience like really because now I've been doing a lot of like just I haven't even recorded most of them but I've been doing a lot of the speed runs 
off camera. So really been smashing out <laughs> as far back as SCIS, SCSI domain. And um, Betamon runs, runs away from you and that's the highest experience in that domain, I'm fairly sure. So, let me just attack everyone, yeah. That did half its health. Okay, so we'll do the wing blade. We'll then do another card away, as well as a scissor port on Wari Monzumon. So he hit 48 last time. See what he hits this time. 70. So almost doubles. Which means he could he can cater for the fact that he's not gonna have 24. the floor, let's see, 31, defense is down as well, and his attack missed, so that's good, he's got an assist, what's his assist? Okay, so it must just damage data. Scorpio Mon's data, so okay, so let's just do V Wing Blade. We can do Tidal Wave one last time. And see the claw on Phantom Mon, just so then everyone has had the one defensive down. I reckon about another 70. Yep. He's a tough mist. Sweet. At least Scorpio Mon gets in before X Tyrano Mon. Okay, that's good. That he got in, even with the attack down. 33 damage. And I think it's just now a waiting game. Do tentacle claw and let's just do scissor claw and hopefully hit Phantom one. And I hopefully Quagamon hits before Scorpio Mon. Thirty-four damage, and then scissor claw, a uh, tentacle claw now. Thirty-two damage, even with a defensive down. Okay. Now this battle is taking some time, which I think all the battles are. You kinda either need to be overpowered for these battles to go fast, or we just be very selective in who we want to battle. Um, no, the wing blade. All the tentacle. Uh, we could probably just do Magical Tail and then Acid of Claw because Quagamon should level up 
I'm fairly certain it should. Seventy-seven. Okay. Yep. So attack me. That's fine. I can live with that. I can't live with that though. <laughs> Okay, let's just do your guard. We'll do necro magic. You probably won't even get to attack before Kawagamon deals the finishing blow. Yeah, no. I should have discarded. I know. I. Oh well. There we go. Well, let's have one final look at our levels. While one levels up. 485 experience with almost 2000 bits. So that is good. But on that note, I'm going to end the episode here. So like always, guys and girls, like the episode if you haven't done so already. Leave a comment on what you like so far in this episode. Let me know what you'd like to see. Let me know what you'd expect for the next couple of episodes. And then we can go from there. And if you haven't subscribed to keep up with everything that I'm putting out, hit that subscribe button. You'll see me on your feed. So like always, look after yourself. Keep cool. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.